I'm Hazel, and today we're taking a look at everything new to get from Hallow's End in 2023. This is a bigger refresh than we normally see with a couple of new things to collect. The event is live now and runs until November the 1st. For new stuff, we have five new achievements, a new offhand transmog, a new pet, a holiday dragon riding armor, and a special key to unlock a previously removed version of Scarlet Monastery instances where you can get previously removed transmog drops. The holiday boss has also been updated with an optional individual hard mode that can give you a better chance of getting your drops. Let's look at the new boss first. You still queue up for it the same way from your dungeon finder and you do not need to do any prerequisite quest to access this. The default fight itself has been redesigned, we have no more head throwing phases. You can boil the new fight down to kill ads, dodge things, and spread with the big purple circles. When you first zone into the horseman instance, you can optionally speak to a wicker man on your left to accept one of four affixes. If you would like all four curses, talk to the big one. These make the fight a little bit tougher, but in theory improve your chances at daily pumpkin loot. Dealing with the curses boils down to dodge even more things, kill another ad, and then touch this purple orby in the glow puddle when it spawns for you. Doing the fight with four curses up does seem to greatly improve the drop of the Scarlet Key. This key can be turned in at the Scarlet Monastery on a key ring by the door to unlock the option to access older versions of the instances. The unlock is account wide, so turn in one key and you can access Old Scarlet Monastery whenever you like on any character. Inside of the Legacy Scarlet Library instance, behind Arcanist Dome at the end, another key can be looted from a chest. That key can be looted once per account, so you can get an extra key to trade or sell, or you can bring a friend into the instance to let them get one if they missed Hallow's End and they want to farm Scarlet Monastery for themselves. The key is, at least at launch, tradable, and they are currently posted on the auction house. I would not recommend paying a bunch of gold for it if I were you, though. Give the curse run a few days first. With four curses up, it seems to drop pretty often. So the boss is the source of most of our new things. The four curse run all but guarantees the key. The daily epic pumpkin you get when doing this on a level 60 plus character also has a chance at the new battle pet, Arphis, the Lit King. Arphis is an undead pet featuring moves such as Puppy Parade and Zoomies. Arphis is not cageable though, so he must drop for your account if you want him. The pumpkin can also contain a new holiday dragon riding armor for your Windborn Velocidrake, as well as previous rewards like the Headless Horseman's Mount. All of these things can drop with or without the Wicker Curses, and they can drop on your subsequent kills of the day, but it has now been confirmed by a blue post that you have a much higher chance at loot on your first kill of the day per account, with even extra odds for doing four Wicker Curses. The daily kill thing is drop logic that they introduced for the Love is in the Air mount earlier this year that seems to be the new thing for holiday bosses. Other new things this year, for the five new achievements, four of them are tied to the boss. A Cleansing Fire and Don't Lose Your Head Man will both pop for defeating the horseman. Do it with four curses and you will get Kick in the Wick. Learn the Arphis pet and you'll get the achievement, the Lit King. The fifth achievement is Tricks and Treats of the Dragon Isles for visiting the new candy buckets they've added. Add-ons, such as candy buckets, can mark those on your map to make them easy to visit. One handy tip for trick-or-treating is to sit before you loot the bucket, which seems to prevent you from getting tricked. The new offhand appearance is the Bucket of Morbid Treats. It looks like this and is available on the Chubbs or Dorothy vendor for 150 tricky treats. You can find those vendors out front of Stormwind or Undercity. To see the Undercity vendor, you may need to speak to Zidormi, located here, to phase the zone. Then this stunning broom mount you see is not actually from Hallow's End, but rather it's the fill the bar reward for the October 2023 trading post. Fun fact, it becomes instant mountable during the Hallow's End event. If you have not filled your trader's post bar yet, there is a variety of Hallow's End themed things you can do to help work on that. And if you want the mount, make sure to log in during October to fill your trader's post bar. And that's what's new with Hallow's End this year. As for me, I'll be doing my one horseman run per day to try for Arphis. Good luck, happy Hallow's End, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.